Hey everyone, this is Zephyr, and welcome to the BaileyWiki channel, where we teach everyday DMs how to create truly amazing experiences for their players. We also create modular systems and scenes that you can use without any setup. Today, on this episode of Automating Foundry, we're going through how to create this new interactive element, and that is a teleport trapped key locked door in Foundry VTT using Monk's active tile triggers. This is a really fun way to spice up your dungeon romps where you can have interesting traps that aren't just binary dealing damage or making a check. So let's dive right into it. We're first going to start off with the tile configuration. I have the tile configuration pulled up now. This is a great spot to pause and copy down the actions at your leisure. And then we're gonna go through the logic happening here. It's fairly straightforward, but there are a few pitfalls to keep an eye out for. In terms of general tile setup, we have a on-click tile that is active, and we have just a hover over pointer for some ease of use. Now this tile is meant to go beneath a door that you're going to be locking and unlocking. So you'll wanna make sure that you go to your configure settings and in your module settings, under Monk's Active Tile Triggers, the very last setting right now is Allow Door Click Through. On some systems and without some modules active, when you click on a door's icon, it won't actually click all the way through down to a tile and activate on click tiles. So this setting allows that to actually happen. It's on by default, but it's worth double checking if you have any issues. Now let's get into the logic of this tile. First, we're going to use our classic filter based on token distance so that tokens actually have to be next to the door in order to trigger it. Then we're going to filter by items in inventory. You'll note that this is item name, so we're filtering by the name of the item. This is really powerful because it doesn't care about anything else about the item. It doesn't care about what type of item it is or any other data. Additionally, the item name is a field that is across systems, so this is a really robust action here that you can use in just about any Foundry VTT system. Then we're gonna filter by the number of current tokens we have. If we don't have any, we're gonna go down to this no key anchor further down. And that is right here. And if we do have a token, we'll just keep going down the line. I have an anchor indicating a key here. It's purely organizational, but it's really helpful. Then we have some flavor text and extra sound files, completely optional for the mechanics of the door, but it's a great place to add some extra flair. Then we're gonna go ahead and change the wall or door and we're going to unlock it. I'm using tagger here so that this is deployable, but if you're building this just in place, you could also use the regular entity picker. And finally, we're going to deactivate this tile. That way, once we've unlocked the door, it's not going to teleport people if they click on the door again. Jumping down to our no key section, which again, we get down here if we had no current tokens with the keys, we're going to be sending more of that flavor text and playing sound files. Then after we wait a little bit, we're going to be teleporting the token as a part of the trap. And something I wanna point out here when we open it up is that we are going to be affecting the triggering token because to reach this section, we had to remove all current tokens that didn't have the key, and we had to find absolutely no remaining current tokens. So anything we do down here needs to be affecting a triggering token. And then we are selecting the destination. Again, I'm using tagger for a deployable destination, but you could use coordinates or the standard entity picking to set your desired destination. After that, I am also going to be triggering the destination tile because I added in that little lighting effect. And finally, we'll be stopping the remaining actions for the tile. So once again, if we click on the door with a token that does not have the key in their inventory, they're going to be teleported and we're going to have them scream out. Meanwhile, if we click on the door with a token that does have the key, we will unlock the door and pass through no problem. This is a great option to have for spicing up your next dungeon crawl. So in the comments down below, let me know where your players are going to be teleported if they don't have the correct keys. Once again, this has been Zephyr with the BaileyWiki channel. If you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe to keep up with all of our latest content and consider becoming a patron. Not only do you support the videos that we put out, but you'll also get access 
to all of those modular systems and scenes that we've ever created. And our latest release includes a library of interactive elements just like this teleporting door trap, and it is available right now on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching, happy gaming, and have a good one.